Hey yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome into another video. This J. Cole drop is mad unexpected. My barber was the first one to actually tell me about it. He was like, hey, new J. Cole drop. And I was like, this is the same guy that thought that Sidewalks by, by the weekend had dropped and he found some leak and it was really like three years before when he was in prison and he didn't know about it. So he thought it was brand new. So anytime he tells me, hey, there's some new music and it comes off some bum ass, like not no disrespect to the producer of this track because it's legit. But when it comes off of a non J. Cole related channel, like it's not J. Cole himself, I'm like, oh, I don't know about this. It might not actually be for real. But what's crazy is that this is for real. This dude makes J. Cole type beats on YouTube, the producer, and J. Cole literally took it and said it should live on his channel because he helped him break out of his writer's block or coming up with, like, I'll just read it to you. This is from J. Cole to the owner of this channel. This song should live on your channel and serve as a thank you to you and every producer out there cooking up and sharing their work with the world. It's a million artists out there right now, just like me, hungry and searching every day for something to spark a word, a melody, a hook, a verse, a punchline, a way to vent, or a way to just to cut through. On a day when I really couldn't find much motivation, I was looking for anything to inspire me. Out of curiosity, I typed in J. Cole type beat into YouTube, yours was the first I saw, press play, focus, and wrote this. This is some shit that would normally stay in the vault, but I don't want to hold on to the music like that no more. This is for you and whoever else needs to hear it. God bless and keep doing what you do. J. Cole procrastination. Crazy, bro. I'm mad excited. I'm more excited about this than normal. Guys, follow me over on Twitch. If y'all guys want to join us when we review these type of things live, which is 99% of the case, we do all of our reactions live, especially new music on New Music Friday. Consider clicking the second link in the description. I promise you will enjoy the live stream probably more than you enjoy the Twitch if you're able to be there because you get to be a part of the content. Also, consider signing up for Patreon. Patreon gets to see a lot of content like this early, and Patreon is the only way that I survive, and it's my full-time job doing this for y'all guys in the community because of the people who support on Patreon. So even if it's just like five Five bucks throw five bucks in my way hey Ernest, here's a cup of fucking coffee for doing what you do i appreciate you and i would appreciate that but other than that not too much to say j cole procrastination uh, let's get it this is bvt man by the way that's the name of the channel and the, and the producer i assume Yo! it already really does sound like a j cole Ayo, type beat Here we go. Uh, don't you dare run from it. There's no boogie, man. It ain't coming to hurt you. I think acceptance is somewhat of a virtue. Mm. Look the truth dead in the face without trying to escape the regret or disgrace. I write these words. Bro, acceptance is somewhat of a virtue? That's hard because acceptance is not the easiest thing to do. Just like being patient and waiting is not the easiest thing to do. To look your truth dead in the face without trying to escape the regret or disgrace. I write these words aimlessly, but not without hope that somehow I'll stumble on something that's dope, a clever little line, a thought to provoke myself in that listener digging for quotes. Hello. Hey, yo, the, I'm not even, I mean, I'm listening to what he's saying. This is, you can tell this is definitely a writing exercise from J. Cole. For lyrically, it doesn't sound anywhere near as polished as what his rhymes on, on actual albums and singles do. You can tell that this is just like, all right, I'm gonna put the pen to the paper and see where this pad takes me. Literally trying to just start a spark. That is literally what it sounds like, but the production sounds like some J. Cole type beat. To provoke myself in that listener digging for quotes, hello. I don't even know if somebody gonna hear this Got so many songs they get lost in the endless folders of the hard drive I wish I was more fearless Cause mm. I just say fuck it and dump all the music for niggas that hate it And niggas that use it as fuel to push them through long nights at school Writing that last minute paper for class that's due in the morning And I still relate to that procrastination for tasks Cause I need to finish this album Damn, that's fire, dog. It's fire. This ain't gonna be, this isn't a single. You can tell he, he hasn't honed a delivery. He's very, it's, but you can really hear like the laid back delivery and you can tell that he's kind of analyzing the bars as he's writing them and putting them to paper and seeing what's hot, what's not. It's fire in the sense that, it's, is, it the, is it the hottest song J. Cole's ever written? No, but it's also not really a song. It's an exercise. And it's fire in the sense that he is willing to go and put it out there when, like he said, most people would never see this. It helps people who are writers or rappers or someone who, who might be going through writer's block and wondering like, you know, J. Cole, Drake, Hendrick, do they ever go through writer's block? Do, does every single thing that they pin 
Is it exactly perfect and album ready? And it's easy to think that because that's all you see of the albums. You don't see this like rough draft work. So it's super dope to me that he's putting it out like this, you know? Procrastination for tasks. Cause I need to finish this album. But hell, how many more times can I sit in this wooden pail down in that well and pull it back up with the hope that it's filled? Mm. Plus it don't help that I'm rich now. So that means that I don't gotta deal with stress of these creditors calling my cellular like that young rapper that don't gotta deal, but do got the skill. And Bro, I always thought about that and it's something that a lot of rappers i feel like go through it ends up like not haunting them but it ends up being almost like achilles heel a little bit like someone like logic for example like when he started with under pressure he was clearly like there was a hunger of someone who didn't have anything so if that's what your music is about and now you have everything how, how are you going to translate that anybody goes to this whoever finds success the fuck is polo g going to start writing about when he's five albums six albums in and he's no longer from the no longer from the hood like that anymore you know stress of these creditors calling my cellular like that young rapper that don't got a deal but do got the skill and you got the will yep. to make it no matter how long that it takes for labels to see or a song that are breaking the rest of the world to catch on that he's great uh, how do you tap in the hunger when you don't got wonder about where you're it's super fire, that part right there, because if you know anything about J. Cole's story, we're like Rock Nation had signed him, Jay-Z had signed him, you know, but they they were they were stalling him because he needed a record lay, he needed a radio hit and he just couldn't produce one. So as they were stalling all these tracks he's writing, he's like, fuck it, I'm gonna take it and put it out as mixtapes. And that's what eventually became the mixtapes. So it's always dope to me when he talks about it, like literally the record label stalling and holding him back and waiting for a single that'll put him on, you know? For labels to see or a song that'll break and the rest of the world to catch on that he's great. Uh, how do you tap in the hunger when you don't got wonder about where your next meal is coming from? Mm. Maybe you feel my conundrum. Conundrum? It's kind of, kind of, kind of a weak, like forced rhyme right there, but... I said, mm, because how do you tap into the hunger when you're not going hungry? It's like Freddie Gibbs said, empty stomach will give you the heart to go do a homicide. Same shit. How do you tap into the hunger when you don't got wonder about where your next meal is coming from? Maybe you feel my conundrum, or maybe the real is I'm so um far removed from the struggles of everyday folks. My shit just ain't never going to hit like it hit when a nigga was a little more closer to broke. Bro. Mm. Um, it's mad true dog most of the world isn't rich you know how are we going to relate to this there's two different mentalities when it comes to being in his position you're going to go through the struggle of trying to write something that's real and something that people can feel when you haven't felt that way in a long time so now are we going to be faking it for this you know for the view for the for the plays and things like that or you go the complete drake route and you just completely accept the new lifestyle that you live and then you rap about it on some braggadocious shit, people will listen for that because they're like, damn, this dude's mad confident. But J. Cole has never been that type of rapper. So it's a conundrum for him for sure, because if J. Cole started rapping in the same way that Drake did, talking about we had the Vava going back to the Masoni room, if you know, you know, that's going to come off seriously disingenuous because that's not who J. Cole's personality is. That's 100% Drake's personality. So we accept that from him. So he's definitely like rocking a hard place situation. Hit like it hit when the nigga was a little more closer to broke. Broke. Uh, but fuck it, the challenge be having me stoked. Throwing the talent, you gotta be joking. I push my salary up with these quotes. Now. I push the Lambo truck down in the veil, hoping I connect with something that's real. Aye. Part of me wonders why I'm even still, still, uh, holding on to this place. My mama been gone and my partners are straight. Mm. Right? Are you holding on to the place or is the place holding on to you? Like West Side Boogie said, I love the hood. I ain't going because I'm stuck. It's like Vince Staples said, I've been all across this atlas, but keep coming back to this place because it trapped us. I'm even still, still, still. Uh, Holding on to this place, my mama been gone and my partners are straight. Right? Right. Right. It is a smooth ass beat, bro. Okay. A little hi hat. A little eighth note hi hat. We mix in with like a 64th note, 32nd note. It's nice, bro. Fire. It's fire that an artist is going to write out. It's 
fire that an artist of, of J. Cole's size. J. Cole is on Mount Rushmore of artists of this generation, rappers wise. It's undeniable his presence in, in the rap game. It's undeniable how big he is. So it's crazy for even a semi big rapper. If Boz hopped in, if anybody under, under J. Cole at Dreamville, if anybody hopped onto a beat that they found on YouTube, that already would be crazy. So for J. Cole, a list of a list rappers where most people are going to say he's on a three man Mount Rushmore of this generation, Drake, J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, for him to just J. Cole type beat in YouTube and then, and then send it to the beat maker, send it to the producer. You know how many times I've typed in J. Cole type beat, Drake type beat, fucking Jack Harlow type beat, whatever the fuck. That's what we do. That's what you and I do. That's not what J. Cole does. Like, this is right up J. Cole's alley, you know? Like, like if Drake did this, I really wouldn't believe it because I don't think Drake would do this. This is such a J. Cole thing to do, especially as he's in his late 30s. Is he mid-30s? He's 37, 36 now? It's, it's dope seeing J. Cole as he gets older and as we age with him, like, seeing his mentality shift into this, like, I'm not holding anything back. I got no reason to hold anything back anymore his role went from the hunger of trying to make it in the game to to sharing and, and and spreading the love around because he's older now and he's got it all super tight yo little piece of cheese i'm messing with it